Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, and the glory. Belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh Baisham Yahabashai, Baisham Mahaba Kakwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and learning. Listen, listen, listen. I don't usually do my videos here, but it's just going to be a one-off. It's just going to be a one-off because at the end of the day, right, when you're serving Yahweh Shai, scriptures do say be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. And bro, the Lord has not given us a spill of fear. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of highly demonic shit. Excuse my language going on. Highly demonic. Um, now, when you have an anointing, right? You have the Holy Spirit. You know things that witchcraft, I've mentioned it several times. I don't want to focus on it too much because whatever you focus on, that has power over you. Okay? But you know things that witchcraft, magic, judge, whatever you want, at Santa Maria... And all them things there. Right? That's what's going on. Now, I've watched different videos for a long time now. Of different brothers all across the world. From the UK. From the States. And all over the world. And it seems to be what I'm seeing with me. I thought I was the only one. But it's the same tactics. Now... I'm not worried, I'm not scared about none of it. You you really know I'm not. That's why I'll go out any time, any day of the time as well, any time of the day, Salakia. And it's that same pattern. Alright? And I know, yeah, it is witchcraft, it is black magic, but you gotta ask yourself, who's able to orchestrate all this stuff? Who, who's behind who's controlling it? Who's controlling it? We know the Heavenly Father controls all things, but yeah, we know Satan's behind it, but who's able to move that much people around? Who's able to do that? Right? And get them to say certain things and put on an act when you're... Bro! Bro! The only conclusion you can come to is those that have power. And who are those that have power? They would be your elites, okay? So your elites, right? Banking families, right? You do know, go to Ephesians. I don't want to do too much talking. Bro, this is, this is next, 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 next level. I know I sound like a broken record. This is not going to be a long video because I already know they're watching me. I already know they're listening in on the other end, right? I already know that, bro. I already know my phone is tapped, like, completely, right? They can see what you're typing in. As soon as you type it in, they can see everything you're watching, all right? Yeah, they got their information, but we're not supposed to be scared. But I'm doing this lesson to let brothers know, giving you the green light. This is happening. You know, I went for an interview, right, earlier on, and I knew what would happen. I knew how the people would start acting. You go in there, right, then you see people outside, and you see people coming, and it's like, hold on a minute. You were the same individual that was just, I saw five minutes ago. So what is, bro, that's called, that's called Freemasonry, and it's called conformist. You got people, bro. They're not in the truth. They're worshipping Satan. It's what you've got to understand. they got demons upon them. And in terms of following or whatever, right? So they've been told to do that. Now the thing is, who's telling them to do it? Is it an app? I believe, bro, it's an app. And there's lies on it. And there's particular things that have been told. And yeah, we know government is involved in it as well. Come on, like, bro, you have to put the pieces together. You have to put all these pieces together. And why is it every time I go into a certain place as well, they have people synchronizing with you as well? Synchronizing, right? Synchronizing, right? So please don't tell me, oh, well, uh, no, I think you're, 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 you're looking too much into things. No. And why is it when I'm teaching as well, say if I, um, someone comes across me, right? And I'm speaking to them. Then you have people jogging, watching you. Bro, that's fucking demonic. Bro, it's the, bro please don't tell me that is a, a, it's righteous, you know. Bro, it's, there's nothing righteous about it. It's demonic. That's coming from the left-hand side. So now we got to ask ourselves, where is it? It's coming from the left-hand side. 
Go to Ephesians 6. And then finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord your Shai and in the power of his might. Bro, if you don't have these scriptures, that means you have no hedge. Without these scriptures, you have no hedge. Right? And put on the whole armor of the, the most high Yahweh Shai that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So this is a lot of things. A lot of things I'm seeing. Like, bro, this is, this is, this is great. Cars popping out. You bro, when I'm bro, when I'm leaving one location to one, I know what they're doing already. They're trying to map, you know, everywhere you go, right? They're trying to map that out. So once they map that out, they're like, well, he goes here, he goes there. And it's to make you feel like you're trapped. When really we're not trapped, because Yahweh Shah said in John 8 32, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Right? So that's part of that tactics as well. Remember, it's an illusion. A lot of these people, they're witches. The average person that goes to work with a suit on and your woman that has a dress or whatever, that she's, they're witches and warlock. That's what you're going to find out. They're serving Satan. They conform to a Satan. So that's what it is. But, right, there's tricks. The wilds is tricks that they're using. And yet there's a lot of witches within society. A lot so that's what it is and long story short when i went into the interview today i would say it went fine but guess what before you even get there they already noted about you all right this and that please would you do this would you do that please just giggle a bit giggle and um, um say a few things to, to, to see if he bro people are being told to do that but these same people right what's going to happen to them because please don't, don't, you can't tell me that's a right, when people do these things, you can't tell me that's a righteous thing. And please don't tell me it's karma. Who the fuck told you that? Karma. Now when Job, right, Job was suffering, right, we're going to get back to Ephesians. Was that karma? Job was an upright man. He was upright. It said that. So was that karma? Because a lot of people are looking at bad things that happen in our lives. And because they're so stupid and reprobate. Oh, yeah, oh, he's being punished, he's suffering, so that must be karma for something bad he did. No, because if that's the case, then Job was suffering. He was a righteous man, so please, you don't know what you're talking about. And especially just shut the hell up. A lot of people are getting themselves condemned. Right? Oh, he must have done something really bad. But you know the scriptures talk about repentance, sorrow, contrite heart. I always say this, if a man's repented, if a woman's repented, leave that man alone. Why are you bothering him for? Why are you bothering him? You know what I'm saying? It's real demonic. And the only thing we could do is just put up prayers. And a lot of the times I say, you know what, don't really do the curses. No, put up curses as well. Put up them curses <laughs> as well. But when it's necessary. Now, if you know someone is doing evil to you, they're monitoring you. And they're following you about, whether it's one person, five people, you put curses upon them. In the name of the Lord. And whoever it falls on, it falls on. Because this ain't no joke. Right? It's all orchestrated. Even the place where I am now, and no disrespect to the receptionist, bro, they've been told, oh, do this, would you do that, would you say that? Now, what's going to happen to them people that are doing that? Because one may say, well, I've been told to do it because I'm... Um, if I don't do it, they'll target me. Now, well, you're going to suffer that same fate because you're being a partaker with evil deeds. And this is why you have people that are shooting up buildings, crushing cars into buildings and losing their mind. Because, but the average people that you're walking past, they're doing these tactics. So where are the cri the criminals are those that you're walking past every other day your shopkeepers well it's not it's not everyone but there's a lot of people that do it bro they're not as strong as you they're not as strong as the hopeful elect I say hopeful elect because if they were guess what they wouldn't do what they do they remember they've been told to do it it's tricks what's the trick magic All right bro this is real this is real All right. Bro, I've done lessons, I've, I've done it where I could be riding, right? I could be riding or walking and a car will look right around the corner, right around the corner and look directly at me, someone in the car, like directly. Like, who's telling them to do this? It's called, that's called masonry. There's a pecking order. You have Satan, you have the elites, 
then you have um the military complex and but actually is it I think now then you have the witches right you have the witches you have the druids you have um the warlocks you have the priests right the priests and the priestesses then you have I believe it's the military complex and down from that you have the governments then down from that it's lower you have the, the ground level so I believe that's what it is because hmm? how else can you explain what's going on there's no other there's no other help L listen that's the only way you can explain it and yes I've always told you there's tech how they're able to monitor yeah there is um people that are psychic yeah there's psychics but there's also um technology oh yeah so when you're on the phone of course they can track you because you're on the phone and we know they listen in to what we're saying right we know as i'm doing this video now you got the perps right they're called perps i call them demonic bots they listen in to what we're saying oh they can hear everything we're saying and they pass it on their whole thing is to gather intel because they're part of the beast. You have to link everything in the scriptures. Right? Everything. And the COVID didn't help. Like, bro, I believe this is a massive agenda. This was this was put in place, man. Because, bro, the way people are acting. Bro, that's not normal. Bro, that's, that's not normal. And I'm not the... Look, I'm not perfect in my own right. But certain things you see is that, wow, bro. That, now, that's mad. That's crazy. When you see what people are doing right the coughing the sniffing and it doesn't bother me because you have to um desensitize yourself from these tactics but the sniffing when someone's sniffing to try to try to whether they know it or not to try to get underneath your skin or coughing or you go into a store and they try to step in front of you right we, these are that's to me that's a sign of a mental illness that's a sign of a mental illness not when you have one or two when you have thousands of people trying to stop you from getting to one place to another, bro, that's a mental illness. So society is sick. It's sick. Right? And this is what's being taught. Like, we need to get out of here, man. <laughs> but Yahweh is on his way. Come on, man. Come on. And at first, I'm not going to lie, yeah, it did, it did bother me. But it doesn't bother me as much now doesn't bother me as much they got people right to um to watch everything you're doing everywhere you go and i understand another side of it um if you're not recruited right um if you're not recruited to the to the side of satan then you get stalked it's just as simple as that you have to be watched but something goes further than that all it takes is you could be a whistleblower um you haven't crossed over to the other side of darkness that's all it takes for you to be watched because what they don't recruit, they stalk. It's as simple as that. But um, this experience, it has it has grown me. And it really has shown me how people are. People are, they're wicked. They really are wicked, man. Like, you can't trust too many people. Right? You always got to keep your guard up. It doesn't mean you're paranoid. You just got to keep your guard up. Right? All of the tactics, I've exposed it already. But that's why going back to Ephesians 6 and 11, put on the whole armor that you may have ascended against. So these are wiles. So when you go into a store, people rushing, rushing, they want you to notice them. Or they buy some sweet, they buy some things they don't even like eating. But just because they want to be in your presence, they cross the road, right? You have about 10 people crossing the road to the, your destination. This is all wiles, a circling, people walking past you twice. That's wiles, that's tricks, that's that's a sleight of hand. That's called magic. Alright? That's what it's called. But you're not supposed to buy into it. Okay? Bro, there's a lot of demons, but the Lord you have is just going to deal with these people. Fret not, stay in these words. Make sure you're praying. And stay in this word. Alright? And when you're at your lowest, when you have a show got tempted, remember, 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 when you have a show got tempted, right? It's when he was at his weakest moment. So when you're at your weakest, that's when these witches, warlocks, that's when they're praying over you. Like I said today, before I went for that interview, guess what I saw? Bro, multiple witches, right? Multiple witches, right? Coming out, right? Talking shit. 
giggling. Bro, they're on the left hand side. We can't save everyone. It's not for us to save them. There is an elect and there is um a non-elect. And you can't make yourself of the elect. Alright? But you have to pray. You have to pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And um, it gets boring now. Like I've even seen different videos with brothers when they say um, people walk past them. Right? And um I've heard I've I've seen it in brothers' videos of still useless. Still you know that's demonic as well. And you gotta be careful when you're doing that as well because the scripture is for every idle word you're gonna have to give an account for. So you know for them same words you're speaking against us, you're gonna have to give an account for that. You're gonna have to give an account. Because say if um you're calling someone useless, right? Bro, you need to back that up. You can't just make these claims. Right? You need to back you need to what you say, you need to back that up. Right? You can't just make you can't just say these things and think, oh, you're just gonna get away scot-free. You need to back up what you're saying. If if we are useless, you gotta prove that we're useless. You have to prove that. You can't just say these things and think you're gonna be alright. Because the Lord's gonna judge your wicked ass and he can see what you're doing, Satan. All your tricks. Oh, you know, when I leave when I when I leave on my apartment or when I leave this place or when I leave that place, um the car the cars are gonna beep, then um you're gonna have people walking out and you're gonna have a car pulled up here, placed up. What's all that about? What's all that about? But it's all right, because Yahweh is going to deal with you in due time. That's called the wiles of the devil. Alright? And it says Baba Kashar. And you know what I heard a uh, two months ago when I went into a store? Someone was on their phone, right? And they said, Don't worry about it, don't worry. He he ain't going anywhere. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So you had a person on these on the on the phone saying he ain't going anywhere. That sounds so the person that was speaking to him, that person wanted me for something. That's what the person said on the phone. Don't worry, he ain't going anywhere. So the person that rang him said, please, please, would you try, make sure he doesn't, that's a monitoring spirit. Bro, bro, you're dealing with cult members, you're dealing with people that worship Satan. Yes. Right? That's why you got to move wise. And you know it's demonic, guess what? Because a lot of people, even in this area, they act like they don't know what's going on with me. Like they just don't know, like they're fucking oblivious. Like they don't know I'm being targeted by Satan. Bro, they know what's going on. But they won't say anything. That's why the Lord's going to judge their dumb asses, man. And that's why I don't get friendly, friendly. Oh, everybody knows except, except from me. Really? Really? And that silent treatment. But that's good because we're not supposed to be a part of the world anyway. And we're not supposed to be holding hands with demons anyway. Right? Oh man. Hey, we're gonna shut off soon. We're gonna shut off, but um this is the tactics of the enemy is is bro is weak, man. And this whole thing about is it's 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 karma. What's bro, what's karma? Bro, there's good karma and there's bad karma. Right? There's karma where you do wickedness and you don't repent from that wickedness, you your ass gets judged. Then there's righteousness, there's something where you could um you could do something bad, but the Lord forgives you and you're on your way. Right? That's it. The scripture says in Galatians, whatever a man reapeth, of whatever a man soweth, that shall he reap. Right? And I've seen the tactics, man. I've seen all the tactics. Right? And I do believe there's a heavy amount of, yeah, I've said it, witchcraft that's behind it. Because if you know anything about black magic, I don't focus on that but if you know anything about black magic it's base why do people use it why do people use voodoo because they use it for control and they use it to try and harm people as well that's why people use these practices black magic to control for control manipulation and to harm someone them three things there now, if someone's using that, right, against anyone, let alone a man that's teaching this truth, well, now, is that a righteous thing? No, it's not. So these people, bro, bro, they're going to be destroyed. They're, they're, they're on the side of the beast. All right? Excuse me just a minute. And it's a bit sloppy today because 
there's just a lot of things on my mind. But um, I see their tactics, man. Even when I went for that interview today, you, you saw the demons come out. Right? These are people, they don't want you, they don't want you to make it. These are people they don't want you to do good. Right? Bro, how the fuck is it, bro? I'm coming into a building and wherever, and you're trying to synchronize with me. You're coming in when I come in. Bro, that's demonic. You got spirits on you. Whoever's doing it, you have spirits on you. You go, you need to get a life. You're useless. Yeah, bro, how have you got the time to follow people? Bro, you're flipping useless. Right? All time low, but this is this is society, and that's called the new world order where everybody's money. And guess what? One thing I have seen is that you know your stalkers or whatever you want to call them, them demons, stalkers, whatever. Have you noticed when the cars are driving past, they're looking behind their shoulder as well? Have you noticed that? So, you know when we do videos about so called gang stalking, it is good because it's bringing awareness. Because some a lot of people don't even know that they're, they're being gang stalked. So I've even seen gang stalkers now. I'm seeing when a car goes past, they're looking behind their back. They're looking. <laughs> what does this all tie into with the scriptures? That's called um social. That's called social engineering, right? Where people are all cautious of each other and they're all monitoring each other. How do you implement order by? Basing it on some type of threat and having people not trust each other. That's how you bring forth order. See, this goes back to the COVID as well. Wait, this is heavy stuff. Wait, we're going to shut off soon. Right? Psychology, bro. It all goes into psychology as well. Right? And yes, I believe the elites are behind this program. Call it, call it what you want. Call it gang stalking. I call it spiritual warfare. The elites are behind it. You do know they they stand in the room, right, and summon demons. Bro, they know, the elites know who we are. They know the men that teach. They know who's a threat, who's not a threat. So you telling me they can't hire, bro, they can hire people, man. Yeah, bro, they can hire whole towns and cities. Bro, it's not your poor neighbour next door. It's not your nigger on the street, right, that can, um what, get a helicopter, get a... um. Plane propeller plane, get train drivers, get royal mail workers, get um trucks and you name it, business workers. Bro, it's not your average person next door. It's not <laughs> it's not your everyday Joe Smoke that can control that. No way. So you know where that's coming from. It's people that are in power. That's where it's coming from. Right? The elites, then on down, because that's how order is kept, right? And they don't want anyone to step out of line. And because this truth is getting out there, they don't want it to get out there. So now they control the media. They control the papers, right? So they can just put out any nonsense, anything. And now you can have an app. And they control the military as well, by the way. The military is part, but they control the military, so... If they tell the military or these organisations to put out a certain thing, a false dossier, you could see people looking at their phones. They're looking at you like, well, what's going on here? So there's even things that there's false information that's being fed to them about you. All types of things are going on. Oh, yeah, they can pay witches because within every town, you do know there's sorcerers, there's, there's priestess and high, there's priests and high priestess in every single town. And their whole thing is to keep that town in a, in a demonic spirit. So what do you think is going to happen when you're teaching in a particular town? They're not going to like that. And it is based on this kingdom's based on negativity. That's why they got to keep you in a negative spirit. And that's why they hit you with frequencies as well when you're sleeping. Right? Bro, brothers need to wake up. Like, seriously. I want to keep this lesson short because there's so much to do. Right, but we already know we're being watched. But again, nothing to nothing to be be afraid of. We already know these people are being manipulated. Right? They act different around you. Because they've they've been told to act that way to around you. I don't know what everything they've been told, but you know it's bullshit. You know it's bullshit. Excuse my leg, I've got to stop swearing.
but they've been told lies. They've been told to sniff. Oh, when you're around him, sniff. They've been told to s slam something, slam something, just to see, oh, this would teach him a lesson. They've been told to do that. Oh, no, it's sad. It's sad. Wait, we're going to shut off soon. This is Psalm 64. Oh, hear my voice, oh, Yahweh Shai, my prayer, and preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. So, yeah, we, bro, we have a lot of enemies. Whether you, whether you know him or whether they know you, whether you don't know them. And it says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Secret counsel. Right? Of the wicked. So, you have those that are having secret counsel, man, of the wicked. Right? Beginning with your elites, then um, your average witch, warlock. They're having counsel, man. Business leaders, politicians, they're having counsel. Right? Yeah, politicians as well. They're, they're highly involved in this program. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked and from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So you also have those that work iniquity. All right? It's like, bro, it's, it's, it's got to the point now where it's like if you're going to do a video, it's like you have to do a video in secret. This is how bad things are getting. It's going to get to that point. So soon it's going to get to that point where we're not going to be on the streets. Right? Bro, their whole thing is how, how can they demonize this truth? It's getting to that point where it's like you got to hide. If you just want to do a video, you got to hide away. That's how bad it is. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. So you have the wicked that are having secret counsels concerning the men of Lord and from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And now, now we're not basic. We're not mad. Right now, the tactics that they're doing, they want to send you mad. Right. That's what they want to do. Okay, that's what they want to do, right? Because you, I don't know, you're you, you are better than them. Because if if you weren't better, then they wouldn't need to resort to such tactics, right? Then when you confront them, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're overreacting, bro. Just stay the course, and as long as we stay the course, as long as you don't react in a negative way, bro, the Lord is going to judge them. You see, was look at the news. Just look at the news, what's going on in the news. Judgments, man. Right? And how do you know they weren't gang stalkers, a lot of these people that get judged? So we just got to trust in Yahweh. Stay in these scriptures. Right? It's unbelievable that's going on. Now, it is believable that's what's going on. And I'm, not everybody's doing it, by the way. But a lot of people are. They're in on it. They're in on it. They know what's going on with us. They know. But they've been told to keep silent and just play the game, right? And try to deceive you. We're going to shut off. And hire me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So, you know what I've learned about these people that are doing these things? They are the, they are the workers, the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. They represent that. They're the Antichrist, right? And they're monitoring spirits as well. I don't trust these... Idiot. I don't trust these people, man. They're monitoring spirits. They're giving information. Bro, we're in a real, real serious time. Who whip their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows and even bitter words. These are legislations that they're putting in place. Soon, get ready for the slander campaign. Bro, they're going to be saying all types of madness. Bro. All to, bro, they're going to... And, um... According to our doctrine, we've I've went into the doctrine, right? The, the, the marriage of consent and all that. Soon they're gonna say, um, yeah, they like they like little girls. They've already started to say that they like little girls, underage girls. Bro, can you bro? What brother in the truth is dealing with underage girls? Can you prove that? You just talking shit. Oh, they like kids. And another thing as well, you know, when I upload these videos, it was like from three, four years ago. They changed the platforms now where it says, you know, when you're posting a video, it says not for kids or for kids. So even that is a snare within itself. You know how many times I posted a video and it says um for kids only. So these are traps, man. The depth, you never trust your enemy. Never. These are traps. Right? And it will come up with kids and you just put that no kids. No, kids can't watch it. It has to be adults. They're gonna come with all types of lies. That's what they're doing. That's why when you leave, right, the premises. They have people running. 
It's a trap. It's a setup. Because they serve the beast. And we know the devil is a liar. He's a slanderer. Right? So you have to watch out for these texts. One thing I always say is, you teach the word and you get the hell out of the way. And don't really get too involved with certain people. Now, that takes the sermon. If so, you see someone's genuine, then that's a mouse. But if you see they're full of doo-doo, you stay away from that person. Because that person can be used as a monitoring spirit to get intel and to see what you're doing. We're, we're really in that time. Really, really, really in that time. And just, just keep the faith. And pray as well. Right? Pray over these um. Any demonic authors, because um, the old, they're, they're taking your pictures as well. They're taking your pictures, they're sending it round, and there's definitely witches um, putting prayers over that. So you have to um, rebuke that in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Any pictures, any demonic authors that you've been dedicated to, that that's um, that's 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 cut. You know, that's that's dismantled. Um, pray against hexes, hex hexes, all that stuff. There, you pray against that. Right, because it, it is happening. Because when you look at these people as well, it's not just one nation. I've seen Indians, well, my whole thing, I've seen a lot of Indians, a lot of so-called Africans, right? It's all people of all different nations, but the most people with my situation, there's a lot of Indians and a lot of so-called Africans doing their black magic, all that rubbish. So you have to pray that any um demonic altars that have been dedicated to you that they're broken in the name of Yahweh and he will break them instantly. And that these things are binded in the name of Yahweh You bind it and you return it back to the sender. Right? That's what you do. Okay? That's what you do. You bind it, you break it. Um, the evil words that are spoken against us, this whole use, this whole useless thing. I don't know where the, where the fuck did that come from. Right? This whole useless thing. Bro, that's demonic. That's demonic. Because they figured, they figured if enough people say it, then it must be true. But it's not true. It's lies. But they need you, they need you to believe that because they're effing useless. You see what they do every day. When you ride past these people, they do go into work being good slaves, good conformers for Satan. Right? So don't believe what they're telling you as well. You won't believe what a witch is telling you. Right? These are lying spirits. These are deceiving spirits, man. Right? And yeah, the Lord can have thousands of people to come up against one person just so you just so they can be condemned. Right? Man, hey, we're gonna shut off soon. Right? I don't wanna go to we shut off on Luke. Right? Still useless. Alright? Yeah, you work for Satan, you are useless. <laughs> right? Satan's getting desperate. Watch that movie Fallen as well. It'll give you a good description of what was going on. Them spirits just jumping on different people's vessels. That like, bro, serious stuff. Serious stuff. Right? Luke 10, 17. Oh yeah, bro. They also have um they have all types of people get involved. Homeless people. Oh yeah. You think nah, someone's homeless. Nah, they can't do that. Bro, it's nothing for them to pay. Money's involved as well. Ah, oh, please, would you just would you just mess with this guy? Just just mess with him. Just you know, do this, do that. You know, and um, you know, when he's sleeping, please just slam the door and me pay you a bit of money. Yeah, no integrity. This is what people are getting paid to do. All right. Yeah, we give you five hundred pounds. And most people would say yeah. If someone said they give you five hundred pounds just to just to walk in a store every week, right, and try to make someone's life hard, they'd take that money. They're like, "What? Just to do that?" So that's what's going on. So people's integrity is, is an all time low. We're gonna shut up on this, but um, concerning everything that's happening, listen, listen. I've done videos on this before, brothers. Concerning black magic, sorcery, witchcraft, all that stuff there, um. EMF, all that stuff, um, frequencies. Listen what these scriptures say. This is Luke 10 and 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. So these same spirits, right, that are trying to mess with you, brothers, as well as I, 
the scripture says, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy names. They're subject unto you. Now, they're not over you. Right? <laughs> and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Right? Fall from heaven. His higher state. You, you just heard that in the background. Yeah. These are spirits, man. Remember, bro, bro. Weak vessels that are being used because they haven't put off, they haven't really seek the Lord. Well, they, they get used by the enemy. They get hacked into. Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. So who's re who really has the power? Us or them? Does it, do, do your perps have the power? Do your witches have the power? Do, the, do these so-called Indians, right, that are walking past you doing black magic? Do they have the power? The scripture says, I've given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. So what we tread upon them through this word. But a lot of so-called Christians don't know their authority. So therefore, what happens? They get overcome. All right? And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be any means hurt you. Nothing. All the power of the enemy. All right? All the power. All right? So what, what, what's, what's some judge? What is, what, what's judge to the Holy Spirit? It's nothing. Except for manipulation. All right? we got to start having more faith. Notwithstanding this, rejoice not. So don't boast over them. That the spirit are subject unto you. The spirits are subject unto you. But you know that, right? And when you go, when you walk past these people, and a lot of the times the demons, they don't really keep eye contact for too long. That's spiritual. One thing demons hate doing is keeping eye contact. Right? They're subject unto you, not the other way round. Right? That's like saying the Messiah was subject to demons. No, demons were messing with him, but they were subject to him because he was what? He was, what's it? The, the head of all principalities. The head. Same with Paul. Yeah, spirits were messing with him. That's why he wrote Ephesians 6 and 10. And even stalking and unclean spirits. One may say, well, that's happening, so... Does this mean he doesn't have enough? No, you have the authority, but you have to know how to exercise the authority in the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shai. And a lot of Christians don't know how to do that. They can tell you about prosperity, but when it comes to spiritual warfare, they can't give you any answers. Right? Oh, they're going to do that. They're going to get witches, right? You may be in a particular place and they get the witches to laugh. <laughs> Why do they do that? For a negative response. Remember, you're dealing with carnal people, right? Or you may, they may, they even get the children as well, um, satanic children as well, where they have them going, yeah, yeah, right? Sounding like some gremlins. <laughs> telling, well, this is getting real out here. They're even initiating the children from young now, having in them stupid sounds. It's called familiar spirits. But you've been given power over that. And scorpions, right? But notwithstanding this, rejoice not that the spirit of subjects unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Rejoice. Rejoice. All right? Bro, I had a victory already here. Don't let anyone change your perception of reality. Bro, you could have all right, you could have 200 people, right, that walk past you, do some black magic. That shouldn't change your perception of reality because your perception is through the scriptures. The moment you go outside of the scriptures and you, you look at what they're doing and you're looking at that as a reality, that's not your reality. You broke out of that spell. Bro, it was a spell. Bro. I'm going to shut off soon. I didn't even want this lesson to go on this long. And I don't really want to do videos here because you're going to get some nosy ass people that, you know, try to sabotage what you're doing. Like the large, pl the last place I was that I moved from. Oh yeah, and I got in info for you as well because they're gonna start talking all types of shit. Um, yeah, the reason he left because um he was doing something, bro. The reason why I left because there was um certain things going on, and not just that because the Lord wanted me out of there as well because they were scoffers where I was teaching, right? Scoffers, more demonic spirits. I did I didn't get pushed out. 
You know, I didn't get pushed out. I wasn't forced out. No. There's times where you got to make a move. Even your house says, Prophet is not with honor in his own country or um, household. So that was the situation. It's nothing bad I done because now you're going to get people that check, oh, where's he gone? Why did he leave? Um, and you're going to get people, well, he was doing something. No, I wasn't doing anything bad. Have you seen the videos? Right? That's what I'm here to tell you. Okay? But we've been given that power and you have to walk within that authority. But be wise with it. You don't go in, you don't go out saying, um, oh, come out of him. But you do exercise them demons by this word. Right? And you know what? I might have to change up my tactics now. Um, it's gotten to the point now, if these people want to play games, I want Pet to pull the Bible out, right? Even if it's if, if it's in the store, right? And ask them about, well, are you into the Bible? Because guess what? Demons don't want to hear the word, so. A lot of these tactics is to make you shrivel up, to make you feel like you're supposed to be ashamed of the Bible. So even if it means you pull out the Bible, no matter where you are, which there's different scenarios, right? You do that. Right? You do that. You know, we have to be right. It is spiritual warfare. So that's how we're going to win. Now, they're carnal, so most, most of what they do there's a spiritual aspect to it, but most of what they do is carnal. They want you to focus on the things that you see, all right? And the tactics they're doing, whether that's in jumping in the car, jumping out of a car, or slamming something, they want you to focus on that and to be an emotional wreck because what they're doing. Because when you add all them things up, say if there's 20 people doing all these things, if you pay attention to that, bro, how are you going to live your day? You see what I mean? Mm. You be the bigger man and you keep your integrity. But until the next time, I'm going to shut off here. Lord, when this was edified. Until the next time, shut up.